Hi guys, welcome to the RIFO channel. As one of the world's largest pipeline manufacturers, our production capacity increases every year. Last year, RIFO's annual production capacity exceeded 3.2 billion meters. Today, we'll take a look at the RIFO factory to see how we achieve this legendary production. Today, RIFO has eight production centers worldwide with a total area of 1.7 million square meters. The production center we are visiting today is located in Guangdong, China. The entire center includes 14 workshops and four warehouses. Okay, now let's take a look at the technology center over here, RIFO Labs. This certified world-class laboratory covers more than 1,400 square meters and has more than $6 million worth of laboratory equipment. So, both routine and advanced testing, such as OIT and melt testing, dimensional and composition analysis, thermocycling testing, hydrostatic testing, and more, can be carried out in this lab. The results of these tests are the basis for our product development and innovation. Additionally, testing is an important part of the quality control process. When the testing center finds anything abnormal in a sample, they will promptly notify the production department who can make timely adjustments where needed. Alright, so now let's go to the PVC, PEX, and PAP workshops. Here is the PAP workshop. As early as 1996, Rifle launched their PAP pipe products. With a sophisticated manufacturing process and superior quality, our multi-layer pipes have obtained many world-famous certifications, such as DVGW, NSF, CSA, and more. Our five-layer PAP pipes have strict standards for the manufacturing process. The middle aluminum layer can be either butt welded or overlap welded. To ensure the quality of welding, we have a welding test every half an hour or for every coil. Also, to ensure that the five layers do not separate from each other, we have a melt pressure alarm device in the production line to closely detect changes in melt pressure. We also test the pipe for any delamination. Now this is the workshop for PEX pipes, both PEX-A and PEX-B. Most of the production process for PEX-B is the same as for the other pipes, but due to its cross-linking feature, PEX-B has an additional boiling and drying process before packaging. Currently, PEX piping is mainly sold to the North American market. Here is our PPR workshop. All of our raw materials come from some of the world's top suppliers, such as BASF, Burrell, etc. Polypropylene resin is our main material, and other auxiliary materials, such as color master batch, plasticizer, and more, are mixed here. All raw materials are mixed according to a specific formula and then heated into a molten state. The screw rotates and drives the plastic liquid forward through dye extrusion, vacuum sizing, cooling, laser printing, and packaging. Here is our printing area. We use laser printing to put specific information on the product, such as product name, specification, and production date. Before packaging, we have an appearance tester inspect every inch of tubing for impurities. Once any are found, it alerts the automatic tube cutter next to it to cut off the piece that has the impurities. Our PPR plumbing system is already recognized worldwide by our customers. We've also received certifications such as DVGW, CE, ANOR, NSF, and others. This is our PVC workshop. Presently, the annual production capacity of PVC pipe is over 1.6 billion meters. Now, these pipes are sold in the Asian, African, and South American markets. And, like always, we focus on the innovation of our production line. As of right now, in addition to solid wall pipes, we have also launched PVC low noise spiral pipes and more, continuously extending our PVC product portfolio. Next, let's go to the PVC injection workshop. 
in total, we have more than 450 PVC injection molding machines in our eight production facilities. That gives us an annual production of over 650 million pieces of PVC fittings. This is the mixing machine that we use to mix raw materials and various additive materials. This is the injection molding machine. A screw turns and drives the molten material forward into the mold. The fitting is formed and then ejected from the mold. The entire process is highly mechanized, so the whole workshop environment is quite tidy. Now let's visit the PPR injection workshop. As you can see, each workshop has a display panel showing the day's scheduling, the production process, and more. The display of this data is based on our wireless 5G technology. With the support of a 5G wireless network, we can collect critical quality-related data from the smart production facility. Also, we can analyze workers' operating procedures through artificial intelligence technology to identify anomalies in the production process. All of these help us achieve strict quality control and scientific decision making. Building a 5G factory is one of our many significant achievements. What you see here are just a few of our 290 automated injection machines for PPR fittings. With a high level of automation, we can closely control the precision of our products, reduce manual errors, and increase our production efficiency. At present, our global annual production capacity for PPR fittings reaches 710 million pieces, which are sold in Asia, Africa, South America, and other markets. It's worth mentioning that originally our injection machines were equipped with a ceramic or stainless steel heating ring. Now this resulted in a great loss of heat and wasted energy. Now, to protect the environment and save energy, we've equipped our injection machines with infrared heating rings. This has increased heating efficiency by 10% and reduced annual energy consumption by over 18%. Hardware fittings are also one of our important products. Our production capacity for hardware fittings reaches 250 million pieces per year. The production process varies from product to product. This workshop is a forging workshop. Products such as press fittings, compression fittings, and push-in fittings are produced here. In this workshop, important production processes such as blanking, forging, trimming, grit blasting, and cold forming are done here. Walking at the forefront of reduced energy consumption, Rifle has transformed the traditional electrical forging machines into gas-heated forging machines, reducing coal usage by 345 tons and CO2 emissions by 966 tons per year. Although this is a forging shop, you will not see any exhaust fumes coming out. That's because Rifle installs exhaust gas purification equipment on the roof of the hardware parts production center its purification effect can reach more than 95% each year. This is a hardware casting workshop. Our manifolds are mainly produced here. The hardware products produced in the forging workshop and the casting workshop are semi-finished products. So, these semi-finished products still need to go through the next process, machining. The advanced automated machine tools allow us to control the precision of our products to within a hundredth of a millimeter. This is also an important factor why our system has excellent performance, anti-corrosion ability, and is leak-proof. The machine fittings are not yet finished. They also need to be ground and then electroplated. Then they will be delivered to the assembly workshop. There, we print the information on the hardware fittings with the laser printer, then assemble and pack them. This area includes four indoor warehouses. Let's take a look at one of our automated warehouses. Rifle's automated vertical warehouse covers an area of 11,500 square meters. Adopting double deep storage methods, it has 16,073 storage locations in total. There's 8,129 locations of raw material storage, mainly storing plastic and PVC raw materials. And there are 7,944 locations for product storage, including fittings and sanitary products. 
The warehouse is equipped with vertical shelves, 12 stackers, 5 intelligent robot arms, 5 conveyor lines, 7 RGV, a steel platform sorting system, chain conveyor equipment, automatic conveyor lines, and more. All of these fully complete the automated process. The automated warehouse system aims at completing all of the product storage and delivery needs. It covers all the steps from receipt, storage, transportation, recording, and delivery. With the help of WCS and WMS, Dispatching Monitoring System and Warehouse Management System, Rifle realizes the whole process control and monitoring of the automatic transportation and storage system. For outbound delivery, the WMS system adds tasks and sends the instructions to WCS. Then, the stacker accepts the products. RGB then sends the orders to the delivery platform. Small orders are first conveyed to the sorting platform to be scattered, checked, marked, packed, identified, and collected as full pallets are sent to the delivery platform. So this is our production center in Guangdong, China. In 2020, we set up another factory about a kilometer away from here that mainly produces infrastructure piping systems. Let's drive there and take a look. Okay, so now we're inside Rifle's infrastructure piping system factory. This factory has been in production since the beginning of this year, mainly producing PE pipes. And it covers an area of over 1.2 million square meters. The largest diameter for municipal pipes can be 1.6 meters. The annual production capacity for infrastructure pipes is over 7 billion meters. By the end of this year, the production lines for municipal pipes will reach 60. What we visited today is just one of our eight factories around the world. To guarantee our piping supply for our global customers, we've also started the South African Factory Project, and it is scheduled to go into production by the end of the year. Not only do we have a stable production capacity and a strong supply system, but we also highly value our quality. From incoming material inspection to in-production inspection and batch release inspection, every step reflects our rigorous quality control and spirit of craftsmanship. Well, this is the end of the Rifle Factory Tour. Be sure to follow the Rifle channel to learn more about us and look forward to our future videos.